Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. That should do it. St. John, what can I do for you? Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. John, good luck out there. Scrap. Okay.
There we go. Renegade Patrol, god damn it. It's clear. Now you know how it feels being on the other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. This a map? Notes? Yeah, okay. Hey, what's this? Crafting. Yes, yes, yes. Good.
How's the work going? Hey, Deep, let me get the game. What's it look like? Okay, see you. Gee, weeds. Pull them out as you go. Hey, Addy, you there? Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that he's doing so well. I, I don't know, I guess I'm really well. Yeah, me too. When he stopped by, he seemed, I don't know, angry, depressed. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid and see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. Not to infirmary out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. But not as many listeners as I'd hoped. But now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers. You danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. I can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. How many drifters help, you guys murdered today? I need help. You're gonna be okay. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. I'll go, I'll go. Where? Show me, show me. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Thank you so much for stopping. I was so dead. I was never getting out of there. Thank you. Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Now just keep running, stay off the road.
Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling, do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, hey, the people will. inside. What the hell is going look, you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days, huh? Hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing out black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. So okay. Oh, yeah? Come on, enough already. Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. We'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. That hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to them. Deacon out. Thought you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah, Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because of why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. And Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. She must set a spare key somewhere inside the office. Fucking notes. God, I hate those. Finally. 
we agree on something. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you onto this roof. Ready? Yep. Up you go! Got it. There. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got them. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push! I'm pushing, I'm pushing! There! Wedge it against that boulder. Got it! There! <sighs> Looks stable to you? Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot, bring them right down on their heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. <sighs> well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honor. Said that they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. Shit now! Come on. 
This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You're dropping flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. We go left here. Got it. Come here. What? He's your man. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. Buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Taurus fed for a week. Do you ever resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. He, uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. This is it. Which way? You're mine now. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. Oh, now, wait a minute, God damn it! This is the main tunnel. What? It's the... It's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did the... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out. Show yourself! Excuse me, put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. That's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels will be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! 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 Look out! You can't get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys! We gotta catch them! Uh. 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 
Damn it, Skizzo, it's getting away! What would happen if you fired your weapon? What was I supposed to do? Throw a rocks at him? You're supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Are we ready to fucking finish this? Yeah, I'm ready. This way. So, he grows off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tax off. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols? Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. If Carlos wants Boozer, he won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. Mm. 
What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same as me. I got this. Thanks. <clears throat> he thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike is just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tide. Excuse me, so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. There's someone out there. Hey, buddy. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? Riding out there. Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Find the rockers. Come on. Find him. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious, I admit it. All right, uh, split up. Out here, you know? We'll surround him. You come on out and got talk it. to me. And Watch your back. Yeah, don't you Come on, me. mister. We don't mean you no harm. This is all just a misunderstanding. It is. We're looking for you to, like, join up with us. You can use the help. help? What do you say? Sister, I thought you just wanted to talk. Ah, give it to him! Now I got you. Ah, shoot the assholes! Damn it. Got it! Lay it into him! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. They figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Bruiser rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Scott? <clears throat> My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done for your friend, how you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me. Run the camp. <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's got to go. Yeah, that's bullshit because Ricky would never go for it. She's as soft as the old Mike man. And Mike trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. that asshole, let alone make him head of security. <laughs> Learn 
it's him every day. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deke and St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back with everything that we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's up. Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh... He wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist. I'm gonna get us all killed. But I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke! Like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but... It... It's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Mike, out. Uh, Jesus, all right. Have it your way, Iron Mike. You always do. Fresh meat. Yeah, not bad. Loser, you there? Yeah, dude. I just got off work. I got to spend the morning hauling buckets of shit. Oh, Jesus, goddamn schizo. I'd be lying if I told you I didn't miss him. Being out in the shit. What are you doing? Still out there chasing the hero? Playing follow the chopper? Yeah. Good luck. Trying to what happened to Sarah? No, not yet. How long are you gonna let him keep stringing? He's not. He's he's looking into it. It takes time. Just don't get your hopes up, brother. That's all I'm saying. Out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I want to talk about drugs. Now, I don't much care for them. They keep you numb. Unreliable and silent. In 1996, the CIA was accused of dealing cocaine in Central America. Used it to help them control the masses. Get the Fed's sticky fingers so, uh, on a slice of the global pie. Ago, we were up Once they figured out how well that shit worked, well, they decided to set their sights here at home. Make drug addicts of us good old American taxpayers. They brought cocaine up from South America by the plane load. Barrels of the stuff got us hooked on it. Kept us complacent. Kept us high. Kept us under the heel of their rich boots. And oh, did they get profit from our misery? The feds made millions to fund their secret operations, all while destroying the very heart and soul of this good country. But thankfully, at last, all that is in the past. At least, for my people. Stay sober, people. Stay alive. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, you ever lose an arm, Cope? Maybe when you do, you'll find yourself wanting a bottle of whiskey, or two, or three. In the meantime, shut the hell up. Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he, he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Hey, Deke. You need something? Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. 
here. Let me open the gate. Boozer, you there? Boozman. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. Oh, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's it's getting dark out. Where? At the, f the farm. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. I got <laughs> Piece of cake. I'm at the, uh, at the farm. Old McDonald's at the farm. Crap. All right, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it. Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Nah, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses. This has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second. Case of beer? Boozer! Boozman! Hey, Nick. How's it going, brother? You said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh... We, oh! Oh! The other farm. Nick, I'm, um... I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I... I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I'd go for a walk, you know, like, just... Oh, 
walk and sunset. So uh, I just walked to uh, the other farm, you know? Oh, McDonald's a farm. Yeah, yeah. Ah, shit. Ah. Jesus, Boozer, what are you doing? Take a closer look. <laughs> what do we got? More beer bottles. Empty. More tracks. Okay. So you're not in the barn. Farmhouse, yeah. Yeah, that's a farm. Okay, let's take a look around. Boozer, are you in here? Booze man. Upstairs. Okay, now where? Another bedroom. Another beer bottle. That's wet or oh. What can I ask? Boozer, where are you? Booze! I, I thought you were gonna come um, have a beer with me and take a walk. Boozer, just where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a give me a landmark or something. I already told you. Oh. Oh, look at that shit. Look at what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road's... Uh, wow, it's just... It's gone. Like like somebody came and uh, just like, whoosh, swept it away. The road's gone? Oh, yeah. The, the... Like, somebody came and just swept it away. Gone. I'm walking. And walking... I'm, and, and now the road is just gone. Where, where are you going, Boozer? Home. That's where I'm going. Home. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. The home. <laughs> Damn it, Boozer. I'm gonna need my bike. Broken road, broken road. Kids have gone far. Where the hell is the road washed out? Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I uh, I followed your tracks. You taught me. Uh... Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? There he is. A little late for a stroll. Hey, dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't home. go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get... You don't want to be no. doing that. You want to take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it. This is how we're going out. Of no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? 
Bro? Boozer? The nice-year-old old lady was killed. What did I say to you? I didn't you. Oh, what did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. So that's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer, is this it? This is how we're going out. Listen, goddammit, you came out here and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I owe you. All right, look. If it weren't for you, I, uh, I would have been dead a long time ago. Or worse. I thought you said there was nothing worse than being dead. Yeah, well, I was wrong. 